So look, bro. Happy Yande to my squad. Hold on. Record. Oh yeah, happy Yande to my squad. Uh, we got another Tommy G video. Another dope Tommy G video because to keep it 100. I'm pretty, look, I'm pretty sure Tommy G didn't drop some whack videos before, right? I know we have. We all have. Well, I haven't. No, but look, if he did, I ain't never seen one, bro. All the reaction videos I did on Tommy G been A1. They've been pure. They've been authentic. And bro don't look like he doing it for just views, money, and clout. I mean, of course you traveling because you know you'll get the money up. You know what I'm saying? But Tommy G, he, he really messed with the people. That's why I rock with him. Big dog merch. Shout out to the boy. But look, uh, we finna get straight to this video right now. This Tommy G out in Stockton with the Cambodian Bloods. Should be a good one. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tommy B. Today, we're in Stockton oh, getting brazen. So oh, yeah, we getting the break, and you know that we on the island. Oh. Hey, we knew Tommy G was gonna get turned out sooner or later, right? <laughs> No, but look, this is what I mean. If you see Tommy G after this video, just because he got red rags on in this video, he up here talking about brazy and whoop de whoop whoop, right? After this video, and you see him in public, bro, don't be trying to press the homie. Oh, you will blood now, whoop de whoop whoop. Like I said in the beginning, Tommy G rock with the people. He just put it on, man, and show some respect. That's all. Y'all mess with Tommy G, bro. I'm going to have to. Hey, I drown niggas. You know what I'm saying? Leave the homie alone. Beast came through the hood. The <laughs> oh. Are you guys allowed to eat blueberry muffins? Hey, right, there's some homies only want to use a blue lighter. We wouldn't even drink a blue drink. Damn. When I think of Stockton in my head, I think of Nick Diaz fighting Robbie Lawler yelling, Stockton, motherfucker. I also think of his brother Nate slapping people in the octagon. But in truth, I didn't know too much about Stockton. When I Google it, I found a few things. A Forbes article in 2014 called Stockton one of the most miserable cities in America. And the Damn. Stockton City website said, and I quote, How can Forbes call Stockton the most miserable city in America when nine times out of ten, the people that work at Forbes or whoever wrote that article I'm not going to say they've never been in Stockton, but if you're going to call something the worst city in America or the most horrible city in America, nine times out of ten, they're talking about the gang activity. They're talking about the hood. They're talking about the ghetto. They're talking about the blacks and Mexicans. Let's keep it 100. So if you wrote this article, bro, I could probably bet that you've never been on it. Like, oh, this is the worst city in America. woo -de woo Like, bro, have somebody have one of these Stockton fools write it. Because while y'all look at the worst city in America, that's because y'all looking at it on the outside looking in. What a lot of people don't understand, bro, the hood be fun. Like, of course it goes on all the time, but it's not like TV to where every day is crime. Every day it's a shooting, it's a jacking, bro. Probably once or twice a month, three times a month, if that. You know what I'm saying? You looking at it from the, you know what I'm saying? Bird's eye, literally. Looking at the hood from a mile, like miles away in the sky, bro. It be hood. Not trying to glorify it, but. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to say not trying to glorify it. There's nothing wrong with coming from the hood, bro. Born a rest. You can't pick where you. Hey, if everybody could pick where they was born that we'd all be in Lama, uh, Calabasas right now with a Rolls Royce in the driveway at zero years old. You know what I'm saying? You can't pick it. Home is home, bro. Home is home. There is not one neighborhood in Stockton that is completely free of gang members or gang activity. That's yes, unbelievable. So I knew this is something that I had to see for myself. Through the Hood Vlogs YouTube channel, I found this crew of Cambodian bloods in Stockton, and I tapped in with local resident and Cambodian-American man, Javen. A big part of this channel is finding our way into the underworld to see what it's really like. So today, we head to Stockton, California. So they famous the gang bangers. We'll see you there. When you shoot this in the summer? My, did I say AM or PM on my trip? What it's really like. So today, we head to Stockton, California. Boots on the ground. We'll see you there. Hey. 
I know the sun going down. I can see it right there, but it still be at five o'clock at this time of the year. It's, I mean, daytime at five o'clock is crazy, bro. It be getting dark now, like at four forty-eight. I mean, that's only twelve minutes. Hey, it be getting dark now, like at four thirty-six. You know, so I'm gonna keep it real. Not dark, dark, but it's already like. It look like the sun about to come out, but it's going down. You know what? Yeah. How's that fiber? Is the mountains not high enough? Ladies and gentlemen, we come to you live today in the city of Stockton, California. And we're gonna see it firsthand. We're meeting with a crew of Cambodian Bloods, which I've never met before. Just overall, the game me culture, either. the game world is just fascinating to me. I mean, how people operate, what the attraction is, the allure, and also the downside that comes with living the street life. I think one, one thing that this channel has consistently explored is no matter how bad or dangerous or horrible a place is supposed to be. I just thought of something, Tommy G, that's a fade. Last time we was on the phone, bro. Make sure you hit me when you come to Cali. Make sure you hit me when you come to West Coast. Oh, for sure, I'ma hit you, ghost. Wooty woo woo. This my brother. Like y'all can't tell. Anyway, my brother lied to me, bro. That's a slap box fight. How you gonna come over here to Stockton to, to, to mess with the suit whoops, but didn't come to Vegas to mess with the gizzos? You know what I'm saying? That ain't that far, fool. You already flew all the way over there. That's like a hour and 15 minute flight from Vegas to Stockton. Get me the hell. I would have loved to go over there with you in the Cambodian blood, smoke a little bit. Talk to a little female. I ain't never had no Cambodian. Put. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to get me some. I think when you actually talk one on one with a human, without fail, you're almost always going to find the good in them or the good in the place. And um, I'm sure we're going to find that today in Stockton. So let's tap in with the bloods. Sue Wu. See you on the block. So whoa. What's happening, fellas? <laughs> What's going on, man? You must be Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to meet you, brother. You too, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. You're looking right. fresh. Oh, thanks. Playing man. basketball. Hey. Look at Henry, right? This is something a lot of people don't know unless you see me in person. In public. I dress like that now. <laughs> I kind of showed it on my last uh, IG pic that I posted for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm way more swaggier than Henry, though. He looked like he coming from church. But as far as the jacket, the collar, the dress shoes, or boots, nigga, I'll be out. <laughs> I'm 35 now, bro. I was thinking, I swear to God, I was thinking like a couple months ago. Y'all know my mind be wondering, bro. And I was like, damn, thinking of 12 year old me, 13 year old me, fade or taper with the haircut or braids. Now I got dreads, right? With a t shirt, a sweater, some jeans, and some Jordans. That's me at 13. And I was looking at a mirror like, damn, this is me at 35. You mean to tell me I don't mature at all still today, bro? I was up there buying a fresh pair of jays that come out with some slim baggy jeans on with a fresh tr sweater with a snapback a fitted hat or something bro and it's something gotta change when you look at females when you look at females i'm gonna keep it real yeah they still be they be dressing like hoochies and stuff now like they was when they was but this is the point i'm trying to make females they don't got that problem you don't see women that's 30 years old 28 years old with barrettes in their hair. You know what I'm saying? Walking around with light up shoes and jellies on. Hey, to the women out here, y'all remember the jellies back in the day? We were, you know what I'm saying? They, they ain't wearing that. With the little skirt, with the little uh, rhinestones in the. They matured. Us, from boys to men, by the way we dress, walk, and talk, we don't mature. Black men, we gotta do better. Not even black men, let's just do better, bro. And I'm not saying that because I figured it out. I'm just saying. If I think something that's going to better you as a man, and pro this is a like live stream conversation, but I promise you, when you dress nice, people treat you different. You feel different. You, I'm telling you, bro. The button up, huh? Doing it all, man. Tell the people where we are right now. Okay, we're here in Stockton, California, Lewis Park. 
right here in the heart. The heart of the island right here. This is the west side. You got country club over here. You got boss track over there. And mm -hmm. what is this area known for? Violence. Yeah? For, yeah, for violence. What I know of Stockton is home. What is this area known this for? This right here? For violence. Yeah? For, yeah, for violence. Right there, bro. I only pause it right here for the female that's watching real quick. This what's gonna happen when y'all tired of BBLs. This what's gonna happen when you get older in your 60s and 70s. It ain't gonna look as good no more. You see how bro decided not to take that like that block out his ear? I don't wanna have this block in my ear no more. That hole ain't gonna close, bro. I cannot have an earring in my ear right now for three years and it's never gonna close. That small little. Now you walking around looking like you got a hole in your neck. Hey, y'all remember the commercials back in the day where the lady used to be smoking through her neck? Like, y'all too young for that. Anyway, yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible, bro. What I know of Stockton is home of the Diaz brothers. Yeah. Also, that I've read an article that's one of the hardest places in America to grow up. It is. It's Did rough. you grow up in Stockton? Right. I'm from Stockton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Stockton. I'm from right here, man. This is the group that I grew up with, and this is the, the type of people that I want to impact at the same yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah, and tell people a little bit about yourself. I'm running for City Council, District 4. There All you right. go. That's this area right here, man, to make a difference in the area that I'm from. There you go. Okay, what are the top couple of things? If you get elected, what do you want to do? Uh, for one, I want to fix our light, our handball light out there, man. You know, the guys, they want some activities to where they could do something. And yeah. It's getting dark a lot, you know what I mean? So why not have something that will keep them off of the streets and into different doing things? Sports is unquestionably one of the best things yes. we can do for the year. Yes, yes, a absolutely. I'm actually working on a program right now. It's called the Torch Foundation. It's from Southern California. Mm -hmm. So it's an emotional intelligence leadership training. <laughs> and so what they're doing is uh, they're showing uh, uh, from the ages of 13 to 18 youth how to express their emotions in healthy ways, except not except through gun violence, violence yeah. not through alcohol, and not through drugs. You know what I mean? Hey, who else like him like I do? No pause, I'm a grown man, I like him. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got this, and to keep it real, it always takes somebody from the neighborhood to go ahead and try to make it better. Like I said, these articles, whoever write them, the mayor, the governor, they act like they care, they, but they really don't, bro. They ain't come from here. But people that come from there know how bad it is. And you try to change shit. Shout out to my guy with the hole in his ear. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. To blue, shout out to the dude that dressed like me, but he didn't do it all the way right. Shout out to him. So I'm that should be that should be school curriculum. It absolutely. There's should so be. many. Oh man, this is another subject we could dive into. But there's so many things missing in school today, like how to become an entrepreneur, yes. how to leverage debt, how to have yes. a credit card, yes. how to just so many different things, how to handle your emotions. Yeah. You think that would be like one of the base foundations of becoming a man? Absolutely, man. Okay, I'm gonna tap in with the yeah, crew. It's Javen, right? It's Javen. Yeah. Okay. Shout out, hey, Javen. Big dog. No much, man. Appreciate you pulling you. up. Hell yeah. Is that a tree stump? Oh, I thought that was a tree stump. It is a tree stump. Oh. Imagine you saying you trying to change, you trying to run for council, whoop de whoop whoop, and then five feet from you is a group of bloods waiting to get interviewed. <laughs> and at the same park, right? You say I'm about to holler at them. We wait. I don't see no like little slide change. He got on the 12th, I just got my brother and myself for Christmas. So wet, I feel like saying. Yeah, hell yeah, you smoking out that bamboo, you feel me? So this yeah. is the squad, this is the crew. Yes sir, you know this gang, we're here, we're playing some handball. Play. I don't think I played handball like this, can you walk me through it? Penitentiary babies. Niggas <laughs> up here playing some handball, I promise you, bro. If you go to any park, if you go to any, you go to any hood in America, bro, you see them playing handball, I promise you. Somebody from the pen taught them, showed them, or them the ones that's doing it right through the handball. They got courts at park, but people don't use those. We just lean on them and kick it at though. You know what I'm saying? But if you see some fools actually doing handball, yeah, they ready. <laughs> trying to get ready or used to be ready and trying to stay ready. I'm <laughs> keeping it real. Niggas ready. They can turn in the ball. They, 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 they teams of two. It, it's like wall ball. Yeah, it's like wall ball. We got teams of two. They take a turn hitting the ball. Oh, keeping it in, keeping it in the box in too. So you feel me? So if you go before the box or, or past the box, that's not in. Yeah. 
Okay. See how they keep it inside the box? Uh -huh. Two teams, they need to take a turn hand the ball. Whoever scored it 12 first, and, and, and so we do. Tell the people, what is it like in Stockton right now? Man, Stockton is the same shit. It's been, it's been for so long, you know, man. Every exit is some different neighborhood. Every exit is some different gang. And this is what it is. This is how Stockton been. When I Googled Stockton, one of the things that came up was a police website that said there's not one area in Stockton that does not have a gang in the area. Exactly. That's how accurate. And that's how accurate. That, like I said, but every exit, every is somebody neighborhood, every exit is going to be somebody, somebody gang, even somebody territory. For real. So they get very territorial here. For sure. For sure. So tell me about... Hey, Tommy G, get a shotgun mic, bro. I think you got that roll mic, the small puff one. You got to get a shotgun mic. That way they get y'all conversation, not everybody behind y'all. Or they won't get nobody behind the camera, man. They just get y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, the pressure, like at what age does a young man start feeling pressure? Like, hey, you got to start getting affiliated or you're going to get left behind. For somebody like me, you just you just live here. You're born here, you know what I mean? When you grow up, your uncle, see, it's, it's your older brothers, your uncles, it's all that. It's something like you just, it's more like a family. What percent of, of young men do you think are affiliated in some way? If I can young guess, men, yeah. Ooh, probably 75, I'm really? sure. Because I, I read somewhere that Stockton could be one of the toughest places in America to grow up. Is there a story from your childhood that can you paint us a picture of life in stock if you ask so if you ask anybody or if you tell anybody i don't care if you in chicago if you in wichita kansas you in wisconsin you in la you in arizona <clears throat> go to the hood bro and see a game maker that's really from over there and be like the police said this one of the worst hoods in america they gonna agree with you bro that's clout for them. They ain't not finna say, no it ain't, or it's the softest, they always gonna agree with you, bro. They always gonna agree with you. Not saying that they don't got the worst hood in Stockton, or whatever was the case, but they gonna always agree with that. As a gangbanger, you wanna, you wanna make that official. Yeah, they right, man. You wanna stamp that. I hear a lot of shit that happened, like man, when the homies got into a shootout with the police way back in way back in the day. That's probably one of the biggest stories. I mean, people was in the trees shooting at the police. You know what I mean? One of the homies died, rest in peace, that day. Getting into a shootout with the police. And How are police looked at in this neighborhood? They dangerous. They dangerous? Yeah, they dangerous too. They their own gang. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But they might not visit. They might not visit. But a lot of times they want to pick on this. They they'll do that. They do whatever they want. They they got they got Stockton on the leash. You know what I mean, they they can do whatever they want. So I can tell that this park is important to you because you got a tattoo. Let's give them a good view of that's this park we're at right here. Yeah. I right. I did my, my history a little bit. So a lot of people Game came here in the seventies, right? Yeah. So tell them I'm gonna give you a, like a, a pop quiz. What is the name Pol Pot mean to you? That's where that's where my who my parents ran from. Yeah. Nipsey said, from all these clothes and fly cars I be purchasing, tattoos on my face because now I know I never work again. Yeah, it's a wrap for you, bro. I hope you got to figure it out. Because uh, tattoos on your face is cool, but once somebody see a park, <laughs> like, and you got to understand, you go into these businesses most of the time, and ain't no, uh, no Cambodian, no black, no Mexican running in. It's a white person, my guy. I'm going to keep it real. So when you go up in there trying to get a job, he's not going to look at it like, Oh yeah, that's where he grew up. He got his hood tatted. He's gonna say to himself and his colleagues, and when he go home to his wife, you know he came up here with an interview for an interview with the tattoo of a recreational park on his face. <laughs> they gonna make it sound at it with the tattoo of a recreational center on his face. <laughs> like, did you <laughs> did you make it, fool? You mean to tell me you and I like you for sure? You for sure run this whole establishment like, did you build the park, my nigga? Let me know something, because you got the whole, that's how, yeah, I hope he got it figured out. Tell the people working. about that, because some people might not know that part of history. Yeah, but my parents, but we first gen Americans, me, but my parents, they from Cambodia. Mm -hmm. They came around, like you said, 70s. Uh, my parents came around 85, but 
for sure, Pope Pot is what my parents ran from. He he he's like the Cambodian Hitler. So, so this this uh, Cambodian dictator Pol Pot took over. Millions of people died. Yeah. Between famine and labor camps. So Pol Pot practices a kind of uh, communism. What is your take on communism? I don't know if she's like that. Hey, what's up with that bro? Man, you know what he look like though? Huh? He look like Mr. Beast. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Mr. Beast came through the hood. <laughs> He <laughs> got Tommy G in hey, here. Oh, oh, also, shout out to Hood Vlogs. That's how I yeah, found like the crew. Like and subscribe, man. Shout out to Hood Vlogs, bro. I don't know if this is a, like Hollywood, like legends or rumors, but what happens if someone wears blue? Is that a big deal or is that old school shit? No, that's okay. I can wear blue. I like wearing blue. I look good in blue. Okay. It's okay. Man, we ain't really chipping off the color like that. But okay. I mean, we're red. When these fools doing these vlogs, bro, <clears throat> and I hope some of them watching and listening. For the future or whatever the case. Tommy G gonna do his thing. It's what bro do. But if y'all on papers, I'm talking about parole, and you ain't supposed to be around no gangbangers. And you ain't supposed to be gangbanging, period. Like, y'all gotta remember that when these cameras come out. Do not think for one second that, oh, it's on YouTube. My parole officer is a 48-year-old white woman that live in Mayberry somewhere. She ain't gonna see this. Do not think like that, bro. I promise you, I never seen it, but I can Google right now or YouTube right now in the search box how many people got caught up in hood vlogs, and I promise you they'll pop up. I know for a fact they'll pop up. The police is on the internet like a mother. The police is on the internet. Understand this. They lives is born too. You know what I'm saying? How y'all think rappers and singers, like, celebrity lives is lit every day. It's not. It's born. Get on the internet, search, whatever. The police do the same thing. Matter of fact, they got departments for people that just do that alone. They want to know what's going on. What's going on today? What y'all, oh, nothing. We got downtime. Okay, uh, get on YouTube and search Crips and Stockton. Then search Bloods in Stockton. Then search Gangs in Stockton. Then search uh, 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 Slide on My Ops in Stockton. We'll find somebody doing something. Let's go gaffle them up real quick. I promise you. That's how they getting down, bro. Just to that's let niggas know where we're from, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Got a red ring on the right side, it's right. But blue, I like wearing blue, it's okay. You can wear blue. Does it mean anything if you wear on the left side? But you, if you pull up in blue, you, you might just get checked. It. Huh? Yeah, Does it mean anything if you wear on the left side? Right. Yeah, you wear on the right. Why do you choose that side? We beat on, beat on, beat on, we beat on moves. We wear on the right. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Explain to him more, bro. That was just the the bust down answer to that. Explain to him why the Chris Red wear it on the left and the Bloods wear it on the right, please. Let the audience hear it. Or do I have to do it for y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let bro explain it real quick. Listen, if a kid is thinking about joining, how do you say yes or no? To He's not going to explain it. We are on the next topic. Oh, y'all want me to either? Oh, okay. <laughs> why y'all, why Bloods wear it on the right? Because we Bloods, man, we wear it on the right. How you gonna answer his question with his question? I ain't even make no sense. <laughs> Let's just go with this. To him, like, how is it, like, is there an application this, this, process? This, this better shouldn't be a gang member. This yeah. better shouldn't be a gang member. This, you could be a rapper, a singer, you could be a doctor, you could, but you don't want to be no gang member. That's what I'm going to tell the kids. Why is that? Yeah. Because it, it, it ain't, what, what we go I through, like it ain't what like I want another person, let another kid to go through. So that I ain't going to, uh, what you call that, when we pump their head up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Do you yeah. I like people like him, bangers like him, I should say. Because it ain't nothing to glorify, bro. When you a non-banger, it look like something, I promise you. But once you get put on, after a while, when it thrill leave in a couple months, you know what I'm saying? You done did the parties, you done did the hood meetings, hood days. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> it ain't. And you was understanding that you was doing all this they doing when you wasn't banging. So why you have to get put on? Like, you know, I grew up with it. Like, it ain't. I'm telling you. 
I feel like the nine to I'm five is sometimes knocked in the street world. Like it's almost like you're a bitch if you get a nine to five. Oh uh, hell no, nah, but ain't nothing wrong with getting a nine to five, bro. You feel me? Get yours. You feel me? Yeah. That's what like it is. You feel me? If you ain't getting your paper, then you ain't living. You feel me? Where do you guys feel like this country is going right now? Are you optimistic about the future of America? Bro, we going to war, bro. On everything. You think that World War Three coming? Uh, I think that's a bummer, bro. As this is being recorded, things are hot between Israel and Palestine, and shit is cooking up in the Middle East. And I agree. If Feels Everything. like we're on the edge of something. Big, especially that now. new Call of Duty that just came out. <laughs> I feel hey. like you got some more lingo. <laughs> no, we don't care what Tommy G talking about. He said, yeah. But what about that new Call of Duty that's coming out? Like, bro, I understand what you're talking about. But I think he is like me to where it's not like you don't care. It's just that you don't really know. And you ain't did the research. So how much can you say when Tommy G tell you what's going on and all you can do is be yeah what kind of segue i could do with this what else be shooting like the war oh yeah call of duty just came out <laughs> i would have I, I bro i promise you i promise you and it's not me being cocky or nothing i don't care what it is on earth it could be about science um 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 space math Women, dogs, cats, water, snow, even though I've never been in it, you know what I'm saying? Cars, bikes, birds. If you talk to me about that subject, I can hold the conversation about that subject. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. It just, bro, didn't feel like, he didn't feel like indulging at all. You say, you seen that Call of Duty? Go to teach me. I hey, man, be like, off that woo wop. Woo wop could mean anything. He could be like, hey, you see that woo wop right there? Yeah. It could be anything. Yeah. If a woo wop is that approaching, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or it could be both? Hold on. Off that woo wop. You got some more lingo to teach me. I hey, man, be like, off that woo wop. Woo wop could mean. Oh, I thought he said, what is Stockton uh, lingo? Because Woo Wop is not Stockton lingo. That was That's like Cali lingo. You know what I'm saying? Mean anything. It could be like, hey, you see that Woo Wop right there? It could be anything. <laughs> if a Woo Wop is approaching, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or that, it could see, be both. You, you already using it right. You already using it right already. So just the tone. Like, yeah. it's a fucking Woo Wop or, yeah. yo, Woo Wop. Is Sue Woo something no, too? No, you don't say. Does that mean anything? No, no, Tommy G. It's not no, yo, Woo Wop. You don't call him that. That means you calling her a hoe, a flipper. Like, you don't, <laughs> you tell a homie, like, that's a woo wop right there. Or, like he said, it can be anything. It can be anything, bro. But you don't call them that. He, this, look at Tommy G. He's. <laughs> That thing or that, could see, be you, you already using it right. You already <laughs> using it right already. So just the tone, like, yeah. it's a fucking woo wop or. The first one is valid. That's a woo wop. But the second one, Yo, woo -wop. It's <laughs> that was so cringe. <laughs> How can you not love this fool, bro? Go get that big dog merch. If you ain't a big look, little dogs, I promise you, you can't even hear me talk right now. You still speak you still speak pup. Okay. But the big dogs, go get that big dog merch, bro. Do woo something too? Does that mean anything? Yeah, woo woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. And how you say brother, you be like blooder. Blooder? Yes, I would say so woo, we just be like woo for short. Yeah, woo, woo. We don't gotta be like, oh, so woo, we just be like woo. I wanna see what, what Henry's well, gonna do when he wins office. Are we are we trying to vote for him and get Hell behind yeah. him? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's the bro. bro. That's, the all, bro. that's the brothers. Yeah. I just wanna hear more about your sh Hey, Henry, be, hey, Java, what's his name? Joy, what got yeah. you? Bro been standing over there the whole time. He wanna, he there, but he don't wanna be there. Like, actually in a vlog with him, but he in a vlog with him. Y'all get what I'm saying? He ain't trying to stand too close, bro. I'm trying to change the city. On the other hand, I think they hit this fool up. Like, Tommy G coming, bro. You want some clout? Get up in the vlog. Talk about what you're trying to do because I'm sure Tommy G didn't hit him up. Asking him where the blood's at. And more. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I like it. I like it. The position you are today that you're like, I want to make a change. I want to make things happen. Man, my son right there. See, my son's over there. He's in the green. Um, you know, I just wanted a better life for him. Yeah, man. You know, I don't want him to go through the things that I went through. And, you know, I, I know that uh, if I could structure him and I could help him to be a young man, then I could help all these young men. Props. 
that's a bad look for the future city council. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, why did they film him nowhere else? Because it looked like he with the gangs. They up here talking about, yeah, that's the bro. That's the bro. Them people out there are like, look, we about to put a gangbanger in office. Are we really? I'm just saying that's what it's looking like. This video got what? 1.5 million in two weeks. They seen it, bro. If not that, they're going to approach him like, hey, them dudes you was with, we need to know where they kick it at. <laughs> what they selling, who they smoking, who they sliding on, who they ops, who they woo woo. They did good. Bro in a bad position to me. Probably not in real life. Well, this is real life. I'm talking about my opinions, bro. To me, they should have interviewed him somewhere else. That didn't have nothing to do with the bloods, gang bangers in the park with guns. And he trying to change this shit. <laughs> Anyone want to do a round of push-ups? I need to get my arms a little bigger. I do. Let's do it. Let's do it. How do they do it around here? Burpees? Show, show me how they do push-ups. Regular around burpees. Here. I mean, how do you guys do burpees? Y'all do regular. Real I mean, sure you can go like this. Oh, yeah, you, you with the right one. Oh, Superman, Superman, Tommy got the Superman. We got the wall. That's our tiger. What do you got here? So, my name's Ioli. from Modesto, California. I'm a clothing brand designer, entrepreneur, photographer, hustler. All around. Push up specialist, we just saw. Calisthetic specialist, athlete. The meaning behind back to back is every hustler goes back to back, you know? Everybody could do it once, but not everybody could go back to back. So basically, guys, in this life, you want to be successful. Some people can do it once, but if you really want to make it happen, you got to be consistent going back to back, right? Most hated out here, but it's still They never switch up on my brothers, they gonna still shoot. Again, I don't know if this is Hollywood or legit, but is there any blood related dance moves? I know the Crips got the Crips. Oh, the Tommy got the B walk. I don't got the, the B walk. Blood Does anyone home. know the B walk? Man. If, if my brother was here, they'll show you the B walk so perfectly, but he's not here right now. But if some, we some can't homies got the B walk on lock, but some homies can show. dance. Some, some homies can. Okay. If no one here ends up showing up. I like that. Look what he said. Some can't. Look. Look. My brother was here, they'll show you the B walk so perfectly, but he's not here right now. But if some, we some homies got the B walk on lock, you know, some homies can dance, some, some homies can. Okay. He said that's so sad. So some of them can't. That's a real fact that a lot of people don't know. Not every crip know how to crip walk, and not every blood know how to blood walk, bro. Yes, it's a famous dance, but it's not something you gotta learn when you get put on. It's not something you're going to get DP for for not knowing how to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that mainly. So what I noticed, what I noticed, back in the days, the older fools was crip walking. You know what I'm saying? Well, really all ages was crip walking. And now today, you only see it with really the younger fools. If that. The younger, if that. If that, bro. I think it's now between the age of like 28 and 42. The ones that be crib walking, the 90s babies, it's, it's kind of, but back in the day, bro, early 2000s, 2000, late 90s, early 90s, late 80s, yeah, you'd catch a 50-year-old crib walking a mile down the street, I'm lying, bro, blood walking a mile down the street, I'm okay, not lying. If no one here ends up showing us, I'm going to roll the tape right now of a B-walk so you know what it looks like. Oh, yeah. You know what it looks like. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with this picture, squad? <laughs> we was just talking about it with the pockets, right? I ain't... Is this a mirror camera? Y'all know how when you on FaceTime, it make everything that was on the left on the right and what was on the right that was on the left? I'm going to just say this was FaceTime back in the days because it's that rad. This was just, it's the camera. It's the mirror footage. I'm gonna just say that. Are we in an area where you gotta kind of keep your head on a swivel or is it pretty relaxed around here? Oh, we pretty relaxed for sure. Relaxed. Kind of relaxed. Good. Yeah, we good. Some places I go, hey. like every car that passes, the guys are like. They all said, we slipping, we good. Don't have that mindset. 
Don't have that mindset. You gang bang and it go down at any moment. They said it's not one section in Sacramento, I mean in Stockton, that's not banging. And all three of y'all just said, we relaxed, we laxed. <sighs> the enemy's like, oh yeah, because they seen this vlog. Who want to bet me that they haven't? We had 1.5 million. They seen this. Ever heard of Buzz One Way In, One Way Up? Mm -mm. The way you came in, it's the only way you can get, you, on the way, on the way you can so get that out. makes the security pretty nice, yeah, yeah, huh? So it's, it's water right there, it's a river. It's a delta water right there in the back. It's a, and there's water over there. Okay. And you came from the freeway, so it's more like a peninsula. Okay. So that's why we said we from the that, island. So that's a good setup. Yeah. What are some What are some Cambodian swear words I should learn? Swear words. Yeah. Uh, when your grandma is cussing you out, what is she saying? Apakai. 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 Yeah. And what like is you fucking bastard or something like that. Yeah. That's probably worse than that. I don't know, right? Apakai. How about Achkut? Achkut. That's cool. But we can't say that. What does that mean? You stupid. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna, this gonna be a big question. Okay, let me learn that. That's cool. What do you say? Hold on. That's cool. What is that? How about that's cool? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What does that mean? You stupid. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna, this gonna be a big that's question. Cool. But what do you think the meaning of life is? Oh, for me, though, that's easy. I say I'm Buddhist. And stuff like that, but I really live for my parents. My mm -hmm. parents is my God. The meaning of life is to take my parents out this motherfucking hill. You feel me? That's the meaning of life I for me. Like mm -hmm. I don't know about for anybody else, but for me, I live for my parents. That's all I want to do is get them out this hill and, and yep, yeah, just do good for my parents, make them happy. What do the monks think about the street life? They know what's up. Some monks, some monks used to be for industry life, and they turn into a monk. Wow. Yeah. You know, I bet they, they have some very interesting stories to tell. There's something that is a, attractive or kind of alluring about that life to me. Like it's very peaceful. It feels like you be your mind would be at ease. Yeah, but it's the block though, really. That's the end right there. You go down so there. That's, you can't get out. There. You, you see the freeway right there? That's where y'all. Where is it at that end? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a left or right. It's a left or right. Okay. And it goes. So like, that's one of the choke points. Like one of the ways you enter out. Yeah, it's pixie. Okay. Yeah. It's a strip. We, we heart right now you feel me we on patience so what makes you happy in life when i see my homies and i see my parents happy that's that that's all that's what makes me happy you know what I mean? because this is who i live my life with my, my whole life they watch me grow up and i watch their kids grow up and you know what i mean my parents and that's that's what i live for like i said earlier that's what that's what makes me happy my parents so we all one i'm telling you everybody you see right there we all you know it's crazy bro for him to be so young this is about to sound wild that I'm about to say is, for him to be so young, he really loved his parents. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I say so young, and the reason why I say it's gonna be wild on me saying that, because it's a lot of people his age that don't look like they parents as God and Savior. They everything that is my Jesus. I walk on, I worship the ground they walk on. I wanna make sure that I live for them. It's not too many people his age that look at their parents like that, bro. I promise you right now, you can ask the average person his age, who comes first, God or your parents? They're going to be like, God, they're my parents. Ask him, though. I like him. I like him, bro. He, he, I like him. That's how I want my kids to look at me. For real. I tell people all the time. To your kids, you are their Superman. You are their Santa Claus. You're their hero. If it wasn't for you, they'd starve and die. They wouldn't have no clothes on their back. And, and, and they don't notice that while you raising them. But once they get of age and they show you that respect and know how much you cared for them when they was younger on to, that, that's, that's golden. That's real golden, bro. Related somehow, even if we're not blood, we related somehow. Are both parents still alive? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Tell, tell me about your dad and mom. What tell me about them? My dad, my dad, he's still working. He is 69 years old and he's still working. He don't want to quit. He don't want to retire. Lovely, lovely. My mama died at 56, and my pops got life in prison when I was 10. So yeah, I ain't got him no more. But for him, for for, I don't, I don't, I, I connect with him. I think. Hmm. What's his? What's his? It's like handles, it's IGs. He's a hard worker? He's a hard worker, she's a mechanic. So yeah. my mom, she, 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 she hanging in there, she chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? What is it like seeing your parents get old? 
or older. It's scary. I just try not to think about it. Try not to think about this living day. My basketball, I can't skip that parent talk. Tell me about the, the cutout. This is the homie, man. What's up, man? This is my big homie, before. actually, man, for sure. VIP. Blood in peace. I guess you have a favorite memory of him, or is there something like, what do you think, like when you when he comes to mind, like what do you, what comes yeah, to your most head? Most dangerous as nigga ever. Yeah? yeah? He pulling up, he tripping, man. He looks like he was about to. He don't want to be in this camera right now. If he was here, he wouldn't want to be in this camera. So if he be in it though, gang, we in the camera, but we in the vlog, gang. But if he was in there, he wouldn't want to be in there. You know why he a dangerous ass nigga? Yeah? Hell yeah, I want to be. He's got that look in his eye, you can just tell when you see him, you know? Yeah, everybody, everybody see that look in his eye, they don't like it. Is there a crazy initiation around here to get in? I know no some, crazy initiation. Niggas just some crews get, go wild, dude. They get beat up. You feel me? A little something like that. But I mean, ain't no crazy initiation. No. Nah. Okay. There's not no mafia shit. Nigga, my oh, don't call it shit. <laughs> I think initiations can be good if done the right way. Cause I think it's like it's like a rebirth before and after. No, like once you go through something, you become tougher, stronger. Yeah. Can I tell you the initiation I went through as a high school wrestler? <laughs> so this is what happened. <laughs> Tommy, bro, you be killing me. Let us tell us, tell us what happened, bro. Let us know what happened. After, after you, it was kind of, it wasn't that uh, fun, but um, after you'd wrestle your first varsity oh, match, please. the bus. <laughs> it just, it's now corny. <laughs> we all need a homie like this. I'm telling you, bro, we're happy in tears. Well, after your first varsity match, like, bro, what? <laughs> Tried home, they would get like Oreos or Doritos and they'd crush them up in their hands, and then you'd have to hold your eyes open and they would oh my blow God, your eyes. Bro. What the f? Wait, hold up. Do you think that's a good initiation? You did that? Crazy as fuck, bro. Hey, I ain't never heard no shit like that. Yeah, what? That's yeah so here, guys, can you guys come in? You did that and you took it. You really took you that. You had to. to that was part. Of, it's kind of like getting beat up in your that's crew. Like it's, you don't want to do it, but you kind of do it to be part of the crew. But your eyes, though, like, look at that shit hurt your eyes. You and I wear contacts, so it's like. You get beat up, it's like you get. You make you a little tougher, but your eyes is like, you can see better or something, or like, what do you do to your eyes? It was, it's called a sandstorm. Do you guys think that's a cool initiation or it's no It's called bueno? a sandstorm. I'd rather get beat up, honestly. You feel me? <laughs> do you feel like people don't solve things hand to hand anymore? I feel like that's something about the streets lately, is a lot of guys like to. Not, They'd rather. I'm not stocking. Ain't nobody finding their stocking for sure. They're shooting first? Hell yeah, they throwing bullets at you before they. Then, shit, when they, if they fight you, they're gonna lose, and then they're gonna shoot you after, nigga. Some it's, niggas just don't wanna get bruised and sores and shit, you feel me? No, I hear that. No one likes getting punched in the face, you know? So like I said, man, ain't no fighting, niggas getting piped. <laughs> no homo. No homo. Bro, he's a bitch. On gang. We got, we got Mr. Beast slash Tommy G out here. Tommy B. Tommy B. 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 Hey. Hey, if I was Tommy G or my mom, I would have been like, all right, now I need to put on. Just so I could, just so I could, you know what I'm saying? All right, slide. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm messy. Just a little slide box or like a little, you know what I'm saying? For the vlog, it's content, bro. That's content to me. You already put the rags on. You already, and I would have been like, all right, now for the put me on. Y'all laughing, but I'm dead serious. And then I would have got a put off. Put me on and put me off real quick. I'm not finna leave here and be from y'all hood, bro. It's just in it. You know what I'm saying? Put me on the beginning of the vlog. At the end of the vlog, put me off. I gotta be authentic while I'm over here. I'm gonna say that. You made my part. <laughs> Aight, man. Tommy B, man. You mean, so we're going to the Borner store? Are we going to the Borner store? You, you store. wrecking us already, bro. You, you, you getting us back on point. <laughs> Are you guys allowed to eat blueberry muffins? Yeah. Hey, yeah. there's some homies don't even want to use a blue lighter. They wouldn't even drink a blue drink. Like blue raspberries out, you can't have that first wash. They, they ain't even touching a blue pen. Do you have a pet bat? A pet bat. Cause you don't have cats. Oh, nah. <laughs> nah, we, 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 we ain't fucking with Tommy G, you are cold for that one, bro. You the coldest fool America. Like, in all of it. All of America for asking him, do he have a pet bat? You <laughs> Tommy G. Uh, I was if y'all know, if you know, you know. <laughs> A pet bat. 
We ain't talking about baseball either. We talking about the animal. Ooh, Tommy G, you is so. But the cat, at least we got beat dogs out here. We got bullies. <laughs> Send me the hubby's got exotic bullies and oh, all yeah? that. Yeah. Is that truck a B sign? Yeah, yeah, no. That's bull. That's bull. <laughs> It's a Nissan. It's only a B side if it was called a C side. You know what I'm saying? They only replace the B's, the C's with the B's. They don't do everything, my guy. That's the corner store right here. So you're born right, right by the highway, too. Yeah, it's see the freeway right there. Yeah. 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 Hey, Tommy, you've been over there all day. From the block to the park, they get it at. They get it at. From the shootout, so the hands, you can catch. You can catch. All these dissing and no songs, you was rap. You can keep it in the streets, just make sure. I wanna go in? Come on, let's go in. Come on, man. They don't watch me grow up. I uh, swear so to God, these kind of stuff, man, don't watch me grow up. Yeah. They were selling me shit when I wasn't even old enough. <laughs> yeah. Are you feeling a freestyle in here or are you feeling outside on us? So now they finna be good. Hey, you be selling to minors, it's got 1.5 million mood, like views, bro. They do. They sell it to me when I was a minor. What story is this? I got you in there. Come on, look. I'm still here for this rap shit. Y'all want to stand up late all night with a pistol in your hand. Stomach and touch my back, so I gotta go hit a lick. About to go make a flip. I see the police in my rear view. Been a couple corners, red lights, and I'm gone on them. Gotta make a way. I'm on my way so I can ball them. Little nigga. Still gonna take an egg, Chris Paul on them. As long as my team all eat, we gon'. Well, I still seeing on this curve half a butter. Uh, still seeing on this curve half a butter. Almost gone with the same old niggas. I'ma rock it right around. We ain't on till we on. When we on, then we on. I let them know it's all love. Ain't gotta put it on the song. Long live little A. I felt this pain since high beat. Ain't nothing can stop this rage. Check the tags on feet. Train to go about the bro. Nigga, I'm trying to. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> she like, get out of my way, bro. I'm trying to get low. You gotta chill, bro. All right, folks, we got an inside look into what it's like living in Stockton, being in the crew. Thank you for showing us around. Any final thoughts you have for the camera? Cambodian blood. <laughs> hey man, check us out. West side of Stockton, JV2900 with my blood is. We on the island. That's where you find us. And we gonna get a bracket for y'all. I want Tommy G. Tommy B. Tommy B. To get a beret. You know what I mean? We real serious out here. R.I.P. the homie, you feel me? A world, nigga. R.I.P. Lil A. Only Lil A, all that. You feel me? All that. All right, folks. See you next week. Peace. Tommy G. Good looking. Stay careful. Stay safe. Be careful when you're doing these vlogs, bro. I love you too much for something to happen to you. Everybody else, I'm going to catch you on the next one. 100.